What's up YouTube, it's the Deborah Guy, or Marty, however you want to know me as. Uh, welcome back to another video, it is another gaming one. I know all weekend we've had Pokemon. We have had Pokemon all weekend. But it was great, it was a launch day. So, we had to do it. With that out of the way, we are going to be doing a PS5 game. So, you know, with the Rode controller, always going to be a PS5 game. This game is going to take me back. This game that is in question, it's going to take me back to one of my favourite consoles, well, my first ever console, the Atari. So this game is done by Atari and a load of other people. And I did recently see that you can buy a physical version of this game, which is coming out soon. And I may have to just grab it just because I recently did purchase an Atari 2600. Because why not? You know, it goes with everything else that we have here. But the game in question is called Mr. Run and Jump. Now, I look forward to checking this out because I like getting sent back to when I was a child. But before we do get into that, I want to say a massive thank you to Uber Strategists and the devs for sending this over for the purpose of this video. So, without further ado, we're going to go over to the next scene and you can see what we're playing. So here we are, we're at the game scene and like, you, like I told you, it's called Mr. Run and Jump. This game is going to be massively perfect for those that want to speed run. You just got to traverse through levels, dodge, jump, everything. Which is something I absolutely look forward to checking out. So that's enough talking, let's just have a try. So we are going to, oh, we can customise. Oh, so we've got Mr. Run and Jump, Miss Run and Jump, Run and Jump. Okay. I see what they've done there. But we're going to go with Mr. Run and Jump because, you know. So let's start a new game and let's check this out. So it definitely is Atari graphics. Look at that. Absolutely take me back. Oh, so we're a doggo. Get back here, doggo. Okay. Wow, this... This takes me back. Oh, I thought that was a... I thought it was going to fall. Jeez. No, come on. Jump. You feel it. Thank you. Hey, I did not touch that. Ah, she... Come on, let's get over that. No, no, come on. Run! Oh my jeez. Oh man, come on. Oof. Hello, doggo. Let me pet you. <laughs> Oh heck, that was fun, that was pretty cool, being back in the Atari world was absolute nostalgia, wow, this looks so cool, Mr. Run and Jump, well we made it through that first part, died a couple of times though, because not fair, alright, Now the big stuff can start.
So I definitely want to grab this on the original Atari now. Welcome to the Neoverse. Then we've got left, right, jump. Oh, we can... Do a double jump. Oh. Okay, there's... Sorry, where are my manners? My name is Mr. Watch. And learn. okay. I don't believe we've met. Well, you were back there, but I didn't... I didn't click on you. I mostly watch sometimes, I learn, and I also teach. For example, these blue shards are pieces of power orb. It shattered during the transformation. But if you collect all the pieces, I'm sure we can put it back together. Probably not going to collect all the pieces because I'm not a perfectionist. I wonder what we'll learn if we repair one. Alright. Since the transformation, the realms of color are more dangerous than ever. You and I had better stick together. We can help each other out. Terrifying things have happened since the world transformed. And something terrible was born not long after. Ah jeez, here we go. I love the colours. It's just amazing. Oh, we can roll. I didn't know that. You look a little tall for this path, Mr. Run and Jump. Perhaps if you hold the crouch button before moving, you can roll through. Now, I did not know we can do this. Okay. Oh, head, what's on it? Oh dear, it seems we've found a skulkin. Common enough, but troublesome. Yes, 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 they do. Ah, <laughs> we got past it. Ah, jeez. Ah, you... Blend. When the transformation happened, I watched pyro orbs scatter all across the realms of colour. One made its way into that glowing room. Ooh, there's a well up there. But it looks very challenging to get up. Yeah, yeah it does. I'm not even sure you would get up there. Ah, oh, come on! Ah! Now I'm gonna sonic around. The controls are so smooth. Like, I'm absolutely enjoying this. Oh, flip. Ah, jeez. You... Come on! Oh, really? Uh, come on! Oh, 
Oh, damn it. I'm so glad we don't have limited lives. Ah. Oh man, come on. No. So when they said this is challenging. Like, they were not wrong. Come on. God, you can't you can't even just tap. Come on, we just need to get across this. This is definitely game rage inducing. Done it. Oof. That took some That took something, jeez. Ooh. That mm. That is some point of Game Rage. Give me a second. I need to have a drink. Right, we already know this because I've already, I've already done the jumpy jumps. Here in this round seems thicker after transmission. Why do I believe you can even jump in midair? Why don't we call this move double jump? Well, we know it's called double jump. Double jump takes a lot of energy to perform. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, uh, we can't get that one. Never mind. Damn it. What, why am I jumping at an angle for? I don't know. That was close. Now how exactly we're going to get, get up there? 
seems in it doesn't seem possible with the skills I've learned. Okay. Well, we can always come back to it later. The realms of colours aren't going anywhere. I can get up there. Damn it. Jesus. Oh, does it? It's out the exit. Let's go. I only got one orb though. And oh, I missed one shatter orb. God damn it. But that, that is something fun. Definitely challenging. If you like something like this and definitely want a challenge, then go pick this up. Like I said, this is on the PS5. Intro, Violet. Alright, there's the next one. So we've collected one of the orbs. Do we go on to the next one? You know what, let's give it a try. Alright, let's go. Now, dog, you're the reason I'm in trouble. And there goes Leap again. Off to find trouble in, in... I know, that dog is... is something. What are we floating around here? Follow him. I don't want him. Because the stupid dog... Makes me get into dangerous situations. Come here. Oh wow, okay. Ooh. That's cool. I didn't know that move. And jump. I almost died to death. Oh jeez. Um did I do this? And jump. No, that didn't work very well, did it? Oof, that was close. This is fun. I like this new move. It's cool. Looks like another power roll scattered in this area. Yeah, yeah, we know. And we go, do the power up jump, do the crouch, and boom! <sighs> don't overthink things when you do these. And don't stand too close to the wall. That was close. There we go. Who's the frog going? I think he's a bad guy. Bye, Frogo. Oh, jeez. I'm not gonna lie, this- this game is...
<laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. So give me a second. So yeah, that is Mr. Run and Jump on the PS5. I'm not gonna absolutely lie here. That game is fun. It is absolutely challenging. Like speedrunners will absolutely adore this game. You know, get it to point to point as quick as possible. And you know, you've only got to get tapped once and that's it, you're dead. Um uh, I don't know what to say. Um Atari really did an amazing job on this game. It's simple, it's colourful. But damn is it is it challenging. And I absolutely love that. So yeah. A massive thank you to Uber Strategies and the devs for sending me out of this game for the purpose of this video. It's very enjoyable. I am not gonna lie, it's very enjoyable, it's fun, it's challenging, game ranging. Just just a little bit, it's a little bit of game raging, as you saw on that pit bit where I just kept dying. But other than that, it's enjoyable, it's a challenge, it makes it makes the brain work, so you have to figure out ways how to do this. So yeah, again, that was Mr. Run and Jump. I'm playing it on the PS5. I'm pretty sure it's on other platforms. So go give it a look. So I've been the Zebra Guy, or Marty, or however you want to know me as. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.